Here's the number one advice of the year. Do not attempt to buy any video game systems that were made from Soldier Boy. Now, why did I say attempt to buy? Because there's a pretty good chance that when you spend your money, you won't see that system. Not to mention the system is total garbage. And yes, that is the number one advice for me to you. Let's get into it. Intro guy. Skip it up and that up. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy True. On that, you can tell by the logo, the hoodie. True. And today's day is Tuesday, December the 18th. Can you believe it? We are less than a week away from Christmas. So yeah, hopefully y'all have your holiday shopping done and all that and your gifts wrapped up. And again, stay away from consoles that were made by Soldier Boy. You! But getting back on topic, we got the holiday event. I was about to say Halloween. Holiday event is going on today at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it will last until January 2nd, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we need to go over what all will be included within this event. So here we go. We got Ice-type Pokemon appearing more often in the forms of Jinx, Spiel, Delibird, Sneasel, Swimnut, Snowbird, and Snowbird. And Snowbird is the newest one out of that bunch right there. Also, the Pikachu with the Festa hat. So basically, it's a new Pikachu rocking a new hat that's not the usual Christmas hat that we've seen over the last two holiday events from, you know, the last two years, obviously. Moving on. Smoochum, Azrael, Munslax. Oh, actually, I fuck. Actually, no, I pronounced that wrong. It's actually Munslax. Much better. M much better. Chingling, Riolu, and Mantike will be hatching from 7K eggs. So, the newest ones out of that bunch are Chingling, Mantike, and Muslack. Now, when dealing with Riolu, we don't know if this Pokemon will only appear out of 7K eggs or if it will appear out of both 10Ks and 7K eggs. So, that's not clear. Another thing that's not clear is when this change will take place. We're assuming at the start of the holiday event so we're gonna roll with that and see what happens moving on you can get a regular incubator from a poke stop once per day so basically when you fix when you spin rather a photo disc or a uh, poke stop you're gonna get one regular incubator so if you haven't done so yet hold off on spinning any poke stops and or photo disc until after 4 p.m pacific standard not Pacific, Easter Standard Time later on today, which is what I will be doing. So yes, there you go with that, let's keep it moving. And here's where things will get really interesting because we got four bonuses that would take place over certain periods of time. So the first bonus is double catch and transfer candy. So basically where you catch a Pokemon, you're gonna get double the candy for that. And when you transfer a Pokemon, you're gonna get double the candy from that. So, and that will go on from December 18th today until uh, December the 22nd. So basically, when you catch a Pokemon, you better use Pineapps. So that's how you get more candy. So yeah, there you go with that. Moving on. From December 22nd to December 26th, we're gonna have Double Catch Stardust. So yes, that would be going on during Christmas Day, actually. So when you catch any Pokemon, hopefully you have some star pieces, or star, yeah, star pieces. So use that all throughout those four days. After that, we got Double Catch XP from December 26th to December the 30th. So hopefully you got some lucky eggs so you can get that XP up. Then that's just for catches only, not for transferring or evolving anything like that. And then finally, we got one half egg hatch. So basically, the amount of time or the amount of steps you need to walk to hatch eggs has been reduced by half from December 30th all the way up to this January the 2nd. And that would be the end of the event right there. So in that case, well, really, there's nothing that you can use to increase that. So there you go with that. Also, Deadly Bird themed clothing items will be appearing in the in-game shop today, assuming at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as well. And also, as you can see on the bottom, we got Shiny Deadly Bird. So yeah, Shiny Deadly Bird will be out and about throughout the holiday event. So make sure that you get one of those all right so that's basically everything that is covered within the holiday event obviously there's one more bit of news actually two more bit of news that we should talk about one of them is confirmed the other one is a theory but 
yeah, before we get to that, let's talk about the four bonuses. So basically, the four bonuses, one, the first one starts today, and this is a big one because we're talking double candies, which will be important for PvP when it comes time to get the second move and powering up your Pokemon, things of that nature. So if there's a certain Pokemon that you're looking for, I recommend before the event starts that you do some research on thesimpro.com and see what nests are in your area, what nests are close to you. If it's a Pokemon that you want more candy of and they got a nest near you, you go to that nest and you grind. You grind like crazy, you catch those Pokemon, you use a pineapple when catching those Pokemon. And to make things easier and quick for you, for yourselves rather, use an Ultra Ball. So there you go with that. Moving on to the next bonus, which is double catch, uh, which is double catch starters rather. I mean, it's pretty much simple. You go around, you catch Pokemon, and you use starters. So you got a star piece rather, not starters, you use star piece. You get the star piece together. Now, hopefully some of you guys can help me out on this one right here. If you use a, a Go Plus or the Pokeball Plus to catch Pokemon while you have a star piece on, does that count as, you know, extra starters, even though you're not physically seeing it in the game? If so, that would be your best op option, rather, to some degree, because you could miss. So, I recommend you play it safe and just catch them in the game. You know, catch them in the game, and obviously you can keep tabs of your star piece and when it runs out and things of that nature. And again, you go to a spot where there's where you know for a fact that there's a crap ton of Pokemon that pop up. It don't matter what the Pokemon is. You just need Pokemon to pop up. And I got two spots in mind. So I'm pretty much covering that. Now the next bonus is double catch XP. So again, same thing. You gotta go out and capture a crap ton of Pokemon. And in fact, during those last two um, bonuses, you can even use a mystery box and catch a crap ton of Meltans. So there you go. Ooh, and the double catch candies. Ooh, that's a good point. That's a pretty good idea. So use that mystery box to get all those Meltan candies. That's not a bad idea. So if you don't want to focus on PvP in terms of getting ready for things of that nature, use the mystery box. Use the mystery box one time and bam, you'll be straight with that. And then go, and then you can do the same thing to some degree for the double catch XP. If you want, I recommend to catch anything. But again, that's a good time to use the mystery box at that moment as well. So there you go with that. Also, in terms of the double the distance, or <clears throat> excuse me, you know, like not double the distance, reduce the distance by half. I mean, just go anywhere, really. Just go anywhere. There's no strategy needed for that. Just go anywhere and hatch eggs. Now, let's talk about the two bit of news that is also included. One is kind of included in the holiday event. The other one is not, but it's confirmed, unlike the other one. That is this. The new form of Deoxys will drop, we're assuming sometime next week. So basically what's going on is this. At some point this week, either on or after December the 20th, we're gonna get EX Raids invites. The EX Raid invites will go out and that would be for the new Deoxys form, which is its attack form. And those raids more likely will start next week. So today, like if you haven't been out raiding for Lugias or ho -Ohs, you need to start raiding as well. And th all this week leading up to the December 20th, so you are guaranteed, hopefully, a EX raid. And if you're not, hopefully you have some ultra friends or best friends who can invite you to those EX raids. So you have a shot at your very first attack form Deoxys when it drops next week. So that is confirmed. The other thing that is not confirmed, but is speculated is this. The Lake Trio could be the new tier five raid boss starting today at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Cause remember, Cresselia will go away today. So we're assuming that the Lake Trio will take its place. Also hearing rumors of Recrazer and or Groundon and or Kyogre coming back with their shiny form so far. We only see Kyogre came back with his shiny form. We have not seen any signs of a Crazer or Groudon with their shiny forms in the game. So it could be that as well. But my leading vote rather is the Lake Trio since we got the picture. I mean, we got the picture. So that's my leading um, theory right there. And that's pretty much it in terms of the holiday event. So again, plan your holiday event wisely so you can make the most out of these bonuses. 
Also look for shiny daily birds and the Pikachu with the holiday theme hat or whatever the case may be. You could possibly get a shiny version of that and maybe even a Pichu wearing those hats or a shiny Pichu wearing those hats. So those possibilities are out there. So yeah, go out there to grind during the holiday season, have a safe holiday season. And there you go with that. So with that said, y'all know who this is. This is your brother, New Jay Gatsby, a.k.a. New Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. More you! After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Living in a world where tomorrow's never promised Last of a dying breed, red of fine honest Got me feeling like an onyx My heart was getting hard till I looked to the sky Say I'ma leave it to God and embark on this path Journey of a life sign Everybody rhyme but not a lot I co-sign Defining minds, capability